channel so obviously I got my hair done today I am absolutely over the moon I was dying <laughs> with having my roots coming in so badly and just not being able to do what I wanted so I thought I would just get it done I got in as quickly as possible when I saw hairstylists were reopening I was like Hi. I was just absolutely desperate to get my hair done and I know I did a poll on my Instagram a few weeks ago and I asked whether I should go back blonde or whether I should stay pink for a while but have it like professionally done um, and the overwhelming majority of you voted for me to stay pink but <laughs> Basically, I couldn't really find a pink that I really, really, really liked. A lot of the pinks I gravitated towards were pink that was done on platinum, almost white hair, and I didn't want to lift my hair to that extent because it would damage the ends a lot from where they had that darker colour on before from last year. I will link a video about that in the card. Um, but yeah so i got my roots done and we fixed everything and i just thought it looked so pretty um that i wanted to stay blonde and um we actually did do something a little bit different today we usually go for a sort of golden blonde toner but today we went for a more of a sandy blonde so i think it's absolutely stunning it's so pretty and my hair i always get question on how my hair is styled after i have it cut so this was done with a mix of a curling iron and then some of the curls were done with a straightener my hair was a bit weird today it was taking some of the curls were taking with the curling iron and some weren't at all and they had to be curled with a straightener don't ask me why i just wanted to give you a little view of that and also i just wanted to okay i don't want this to come across as preachy and i don't want it to come across as condescending but i've just been seeing since lockdown a lot of heat coming on to hairstylists i know a lot of hairstylists recently after opening have had to up their prices a little bit um this can be due to so many different reasons and people were getting really upset about it and i saw some really rude comments online towards hairdressing and hairstyling as a profession as a whole um, that I thought were a bit uncalled for so I just thought I would give you know my two cents as someone who obviously um, has to go to hairstylists very often so my hairdresser is incredible her name is Katie she is such a good hairdresser she uses only cruelty free hair care hair color um, my hair always comes out beautifully when I go to see her. I've been seeing her since I was like 14 or 15, so that's nearly 10 years. Um, oh my, that's nearly 10. <laughs> that's nearly 10 years. Oh my god, Katie. <laughs> but she is more than a hairstylist, she is a genuine friend, and she knows me very, very well, and I'm very picky when it comes to my hair. Look at this. Do you think I could do this by myself? No, no. Hairstyling is a genuinely difficult job. It requires a lot of different techniques. It requires an incredible amount of knowledge about hair in general. And there are so many different kinds of hairstylists. There are hairstylists who just work on everyone, hairstylists who prefer to work on men or on women, hairstylists who specialize in weaves or hair extensions um people who specialize in different funky colors people who vin specialize in vintage hairstyling um people who specialize in styling black hair or hair for people of color or coarse hair or curly hair and it's genuinely really difficult good hairstylists are trained and they are continuously training and updating their skills to reflect the different techniques and updates that are constantly coming out about how hair is treated and how hair is styled and i just think they're really dedicated talented people who deal with something that is for a lot of people a major confidence maker or breaker We've all experienced that feeling of coming out of the salon and having a bad haircut and just crying. And hairstylists are the people that can make sure that that doesn't 
happen. As with any profession, yes, there are always going to be people who are not good at the thing. Um, shout out to the hairdresser who cut my hair one time and he decided to cut the underneath of it four inches shorter than the top. Um, and weirdly, just like, when my hairstylist went through it the next time when I saw my proper hairstylist, there were just like chunks that were like shorter all over. Anyone who's been around since the start of my channel, that is the reason I went for like the Chicago chin length bob. It was because my hair was just so freaked out by the random cutting that this guy did that it just stopped growing. Like, it just wouldn't grow properly and we had to cut off the damage. <laughs> There are always going to be people who maybe aren't very good at the thing, but there are so, so many more amazing, kind, and lovely hairstylists who just genuinely want the best for you and for your hair. If a hairstylist tells you that you can't do something, they're generally not saying it because they want more money or they want to crush your dreams. They're generally thinking of the health and longevity of your hair. There are so many bleaching fails or box dye fails videos that I think in general it is just safer and better to go to a professional hairstylist. If you are someone who chooses to cut and colour your own hair this is not in any way meant to embarrass you or call you out or say that you can't do that. Some people cut and colour their own hair and they're amazing at it. I'm just saying that people are saying there is no reason for hairstylists to exist and that is blatantly false. Usually, in general, you can tell when someone has had their hair professionally done and when they haven't. And I just think that, well, yes, you should kind of let people do what they want. You should also advise people to do what is healthier for their hair and their scalp. And that is usually going to the trained professional who has spent many years perfecting their craft to do the best job and to make you look and feel your very, very best. So please, as we are coming out of lockdown, with our horrendous roots and our overgrown fringes and whatever the hell else is going on in our heads. Let us be kind to our hairstylists. Please do not shout at them. Please do not be rude to them. Um, please remember that they are really awesome people who are doing a really cool thing and they create hair art and art on your head. And you know, so many people's identity is partially kind of wrapped up in their hair, especially like women or femme people. I think that's just a byproduct of how we're all raised. Um, so it is really important to us and I think it's important that we treat both our hair and the people who deal with it with kindness and with care. I do know, obviously, I just want to get this out there, I do know that it is a massive privilege to be able to afford to get your hair professionally done. Um, so I'm not in any way trying to shame people who literally can't afford that. Um, this is just my opinion, so yes, please let us all be aware of our privilege. Um, and don't like, maybe don't shout at people a lot of the time. So I hope that that made sense. <laughs> um, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing my beautiful new fresh blonde hair colour. I kept it a little bit longer this time because I'm enjoying having the length kind of play with um so yeah let me know if you have any really fun hair transformation ideas planned for after lockdown because i would love to know and let me know what you think of my opinion do you are you someone who habitually goes to hairdressers for coloring services or haircuts or hair extensions or anything like that or are you someone who's like hairdresser i haven't gone to the hairdressers in seven years i cut my own hair because either way, you are very cool. Just please remember to be kind to your hair <laughs> and to treat it with the best services available to you, whether that is sorting really good implements and hair dye and helpers for when you are doing your own hair, or whether that is going to reputable, good salons when you are getting your hair professionally done. But yeah. That is all from me today on this beautiful sunny day. I am so happy. I feel like a new woman now that I'm all freshly, sparkly and done. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you thought. Remember to have courage and be kind and make all of your dreams come true. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Big up to Too Faced for literally the sparkliest eyeshadow ever. Look at this. Can you see this? Can you see it? 
I don't know why I'm squinting like a Mariana Grande trying to read something, but yeah. 